Hello everyone, this is another Sankugudan review, and this time is the Shin version of Joko Serpent. This is number 26 of the um, Sankugudan Brave Battle Warrior line. It is a Shin version, and yep, red packaging, meaning that he is uh, on the side of Soso. I don't actually have many uh, character on Soso side yet, so this is a good one to actually, to actually get. So Joko himself uh, start off in the story as um, Totaku's um, uh, general, but uh, he basically is disgusted by um, Totaku way of fighting where he has no consideration of uh, his own soldier. So at the end of um, of the battle and, and after Totaku has fall, he he asked for um, the truth and let his let his people go, his soldier go, and um, from then on, uh, Soso has asked him to follow him. I have to say, I don't know much about him in the actual history. That is actually from the game uh, and the anime. Um, his main gimmick is uh, more about his uh, axe, which transforms into multiple form. And his special attack is called Tekka Chirai Chi Soul. It means the, the, uh, the Iron Flame, Iron Flame uh, Ground Thunder Strike. Which I believe is actually, from what I could see, is actually is a uh, shockwave attack, where he used his harm his uh, armor to form a, a giant hammer and he basically smash it onto the ground to cause us uh, to cause a cause a shockwave. Uh, the iron flame is actually I think it's actually the name of his uh, pair of axe. In various form, it got a different name. And Cold Cell, Soso himself in a Garanzo version, and Torgis. Don't know why. So that's the box. Here is the same. Here is the assembly instruction. Let's get this away first. So the CG art of himself, his weapon, things about him as a character. And a shot of him kneeling down to um, probably so so. Again, another photo of his uh, final attack. Some description of the um, of the wing on his back. And it's actually literally here mentioning that the wing is actually part of the um, the armor representing uh, one of the three sovereign. And something about the serpent. The manga is actually a uh, Joko uh, flashing back to um, to the uh, aftermath of the battle um, after Totoku has fall, where he calls for um, people to cease fire when uh, Totoku is defeated. And at that point, when he meets uh, Soso, he was preparing that he have to die fighting. And Soso basically is saying that I want you. Because of um, your determination, your with texture, etc., you join me. And after that, it's actually a bit about him. Something about Joko in here is that he's um, perceived a bit like a uh, every every man commander. He doesn't actually do much. He doesn't seem to be particularly powerful or amazing, but he is a um, he's uh, popular among uh, soldiers. It seems. Because of um, his rather caring uh, persona to um, to uh, to his uh, soldiers, so assembly instruction pretty normal. And here is Joko Serpent. Pretty nice, pretty pretty good mold actually. A lot of detail. He's molded in a reasonable variety of color, mainly white and blue. But also with uh, a few pieces of grey and two pieces of silver and a reasonable piece, a number of pieces of uh, yellowish gold. Pretty nice overall, but uh, it does feel like the wings is at, 
on the back is a bit um it's a bit out of place compared to the rest of him who is mainly blue and also it doesn't feel right that the serpent has wings in fact i found that it actually look better if you fold them down like that one it actually gives you two extra points for him to actually uh, stand on the ground and two from the front they look like a pair of um worn out and tattered um capes which uh, because he actually got a bit of a um, of scarf around his front it actually seem sort of makes sense add them together to make them look like um, a scarf and and a cape combination uh, his armor unfortunately is quite bulky on two sides which does stop cause yeah sometimes that's cause problem when you actually try and move around fortunately it's actually only there's nothing on the top or bottom to, to stop them from uh, rotating around so that gives you back a little bit of the uh, possibility his axe is very nice is composed of multiple parts we'll talk about that later one thing that is quite good compared to before is that his leg there has been quite a few um, Sangudadan uh, character where they have a piece of armor outside and the leg on the inside but almost all the time uh, the armor and also cover everything on the inside so it end up being one piece in this case it's still the case but um, a bit of it is sticking out and because it is they decide to mold it in a different color so that from the outside you can see um, a bit of the upper leg being white a bit of the knee guard being white on and around it is the brown uh, leg armor which means that there's one less part to paint and for people who don't actually paint it it also looks a bit more um, a bit more interesting than a uh, standard one one block piece of um, of leg armor this is uh, the single axe form with a heavy axe the individual axe function by themselves as well and you plug it onto the other side now is a uh, long long helmet double side helmet and also there is a clip on the end of this piece if you mount these two in you can use this clip and mount it into um, the arm which become a bit of uh, of arm blade or a shield it more of an arm blade than a shield because that is too long to be a shield so yeah that is the gimmick for his weapon as for his final attack mode it requires you to take the two um, shoulder armor off and the head crest off I'm not going to do that now just yet because I'm going to start painting him first so give me a second and here is Jogo painted his body actually got a lot more uh, detail uh, showing than uh, some of the other Sanguri than um, character and because they're actually showing because there's no real um, chest armor so this is what you see therefore there's more detail on uh, what to paint on him his head once again got the character Joe on the on the head and one thing that I did not mention before is that the leg armor although it look re looking really nice is actually hindering his movement quite a bit because they're quite bulky so let's put some armor on him
Joko fully armed. Whoops, things coming off. There you go. Something I forgot to mention. Really big eyes. Uh, unfortunately, um, it's metallic, but they actually painted it with a uh, standard gloss um, green on it instead of actually leaving it a metallic green. Although we actually got a silver streak to uh, represent it being shiny. His eye, the rest of his eye is not really shining. It's just a light reflection, which is a bit odd. Yeah, one thing that uh, if you got Joko is that you might have to remember to buy a uh, clear paint or silver paint, because um, he actually got a few number of um, of metallic parts, if metallic parts on him, that you want to put. Uh, because it actually doesn't give you the stickers in metallic color. So let's get him into his uh, final attack form. Okay, and this is basically his uh, final attack form. It's basically is a supposedly it's a shock is a shock wave attack where he crash um, the head of the serpent into the ground to actually cause a cause a heavy uh, earthquake and shock wave uh, to the whole area. So it's probably is a siege attack uh, specialist, if that is correct. And yeah, pretty nice. That's actually tacked to the ground pretty pretty nice. And uh, both of these, well, the axe, you can actually still hold it, obviously. And the wings, because there is actually still two holes, the two holes are identical to um, to the one on the, his backpack before. So he can actually still put a wing on his back to make him look uh, better. In fact, now because um, all of his armor is in front of him, he has no balancing issue doing this, so his wing can actually come back up, and it probably look better if that with the axe actually. Yeah, actually that looks pretty good. Holding an axe and actually using using the uh, the seven head attack. So yeah, this is basically it for Joko. He is pretty nice. There's a lot. There's a lot of gold painting uh, required, as well as uh, some clear paint uh, part to paint. Probably is not the easiest um, model of the line to actually mess around with. But then again, if you want the emperor form of uh, Soto Gundam, you have to get this guy simply for the wings. And yeah. The special attack form, some people like might like it, some people might might not. To me, it's fine. I don't think it's actually particularly weird attack. I would say that it's actually slightly more unique than other people where it's just um, their standard weapon and large. So that's more or less uh, for me. So uh, join me on the next review.